Hi everyone! So I have a Dollar Tree haul to share with you guys and I wanted to share this bucket. So they had this with the 4th of July stuff and they were kind of like advertising it to use this with putting ice in your drinks in here. But I like that it had handles. So I actually have a boysenberry plant that I bought at um, Nuts Bay Farm and it needs a bigger pot. So I was thinking of repotting it into this container and see how that works out. So that's what I bought this for, but it has all my stuff in here. So I'm going to move this off to the side, but I wanted to share with you. Definitely look at the containers they have and like see how they could be used for other items, you know? Like I get that this is supposed to be for like, you know, your drinks and some ice, but I thought it was going to be a really pretty little container to put my plant in. So that's what I'm going to use it for. So let me move this and then I'll share what else I bought. Okay, so I got that off to the side. You guys know I'm feeling better when I'm back to my coffee addict self. <laughs> When I was not feeling good, I didn't even want coffee. That I was getting kind of worried that I had gone so many days of not wanting coffee. But I'm back. I'm back, baby. I'm back to my normal self. I'm good now. <laughs> so I went to Dollar Tree because I've seen so many people pick up new craft items. And I wanted to see if my store had any. And I didn't really find any stuff. So I got a couple repeat boxes because I do want to make some more embellishment boxes for my swap. It is open and it needs to have a postmark date of the 30th of May. So you still have like, what is that? Like just over a week. So I got a couple of those. I did find this that I don't remember seeing before. That was really cool. It looks like a little light bulb, but you could definitely make like a little fairy garden out of here, put some plants in there. I was thinking about doing a little bit of dirt, a little bit of succulents and hanging it up somewhere outside in our little area. So I got that guy. I needed some hair ties and then as soon as I got home, I dropped them. So they're a little dusty. I got to wash these now. But I like these hair ties because there's no metal ring on them. And the ones with the metal get stuck in my hair and just rip my hair out. And then these are nice and thick. And since I have thick curly hair, they do seem to hold my hair pretty well. So I love those. So I got a pack of those. That's a repeat item. And then um, I had done a video, not a video, I'm sorry. I had posted pictures on Instagram about check the total weight of the glue at Dollar Tree and get the best bang for your buck. So I wanted to give you an example here on video. I have these already. So you see these are three gram, you get the two in one pack. So that is only six grams total of glue. But if you look at this one right here, it's the same company, it's the original super glue, but in this one, your total is 7.2 grams of glue. So definitely take a look. There is another one. There are little tubes like this, but there's four and they come with even less glue. So definitely when you are buying the glue at Dollar Tree, just look at all of them that are available and get the one with the most total ounces or the total grams and get the most for your money so i just wanted to share that so um i've had these i needed some more so I, that's why i ended up picking up these because you end up getting more glue with this so just a little tip right there um let's see they have these little like palette knife sets so i figured why not grab them i have a set somewhere i don't know where it is but I've been saying I want to get into mixed media and stuff. And I started getting like a whole little box together of all my supplies. So since I can't find the other ones, I figured let me just throw this in there. So I definitely know where a set is at and ready to go. And I figured, you know, it wouldn't be a problem having an extra set anyways. And then out in my little garden... I got this little flag right here, so I love it. It's just little lemons, and it says, Home Sweet Home. So I had got a spring one with little Nomi homies, and it went missing. 
have no idea we thought maybe the wind took it so me and my brother's girlfriend were outside we went up the street like we live on like a dead end street so we went up the street seeing if it went that way towards the dead end nothing we went down the street over here seeing if it flew over there nothing we went to the houses across the street seeing if it was in one of their yards nothing it absolutely just disappeared have no idea where it went to so i was super sad about it and um I had got this one right here, but then I went to a different location and then found the gnome one. So as soon as I got home, I put it right back on there. My nephew saw it and he was like, oh, you got another one. So he wanted to put it on like as soon as he saw it because him and I were both sad. Like what happened to our little flag? So that one is outside already where it should be. And then now this is just an extra one because I had bought this and then ended up finding the other one later at a different store. Um, so let's see what else I have. I had posted this on my Instagram as well. There is a whole bee kitchen set and I am so obsessed with it. I was so tempted to buy like a four set, but I was good. I'm like, honestly, we don't need dishes. We don't need cups. We don't need plate. It's absolutely adorable. It's probably something that I would just have on the table as like a decoration, but I don't know with so many of us it's not really practical to have like decoration pieces if that makes sense so I just left it and I just got a little pot holder I'm hoping to find the towels they're supposed to be towels but they sold out already by the time I got there so I'm still on the hunt for those and then we are going on a Disney cruise at the end of the year and I love putting these boards on our door because other people will come by and write you a little note and I think it is so cute and so fun. So I have I think like two other ones that we take on our cruise and then I love this one because it has like all the princesses even like Moana down here and Rapunzel and then it has Abu over here and then one of the fairies and um flounder so i just thought this one was so cute with so many and it is a little bit bigger than the other one that i have so i want to put this with our travel stuff so i can take that when we go at the end of the year let me put that off to the side and then i went to this specific store because i wanted to find these little metal decorations i had a crafty friend comment um about when i had found the pig so i wanted to get her all three but the cow was gone already. So I found the pig. So Sunny has one. So I'm going to send this to a crafty friend. And then they had the chicken. So I'm going to send her that. And I wanted to get her the cow. But the cow was out. So I'm going to keep looking for that one. And then they had this little welcome one. That has the little flowers down here. So I thought this was really cute. So I was thinking about hanging this up outside. With the little plant right here that I want to make. So to add that to our little garden area. So I'm going to put that one outside. And let's see. Um, my nephew. He's so funny. He is such a smarty pants. It's ridiculous. And he likes crossword puzzles. So my mom and I do the fill in. And he finds those too hard to do. But he can do the word search. So we got him a little word search. And then it should be pretty easy. Like they're a lot larger prints here. And then. There's the answers in the back. So when we're sitting there doing our word fill-in book, he can sit down and do the little word search. And I found some stickers. I'm not sure if they are new or not, but they were new to me. So I snatched them up. I thought they were really pretty. They are thicker. They're like a chipboard sticker. And they have this beautiful gold foiling on them. So I thought that was very fun, very springtime. So I got that one, although I can see it's already like kind of moved around, so definitely going to need to add some extra glue. You see like floating in there? They're just moving around. So yeah, definitely going to need to add some extra glue to those to stick them down. And then they have the beach and summer theme right now, so I found these two. I thought this might be good for our cruise that we're going on to, you know, stencil on some ink for one of the scrapbook pages, so... I got those. I found a beautiful bee ribbon right here. So I got that because I have a whole little box that I'm putting all my little bee stuff in. So I'm going to add that over there. I take it off of these because they're just way too big. So um, it makes it easier just to like rewind it on something else. 
this store always has clearance i don't know why they just always do so this was 25 cents and it was watermelon so i figured why not go ahead and try that i love watermelon so i'm gonna go stick this in the fridge i don't think it's an energy drink though i hope not i hope it's just like some kind of regular drink it says watermelon punch so I only got one because I wasn't sure if I would like it or not. But I mean, they were a quarter and they have like a whole case of them. So I got that guy. And then in the clearance as well. See, this one is missing the lid and has like chocolate down here. So that was 25 cents. And then this guy right here is also missing the lid. And he was 25 cents. So, I mean, I still thought that was a good deal. I'm like, I get that it's missing the lid, but I mean, honestly, it doesn't matter. I could stick a plant in here, is what I was thinking. Um, I want to get some succulents plants. I don't have any, but I hear that they're super easy to maintain. And if we're doing great with our flowers, I figured, why not? So, I got those. Scissors. I can never have enough pair of scissors. They dole out so fast. So, some scissors there. My mom wanted some little hair supplies so i got that 50 cents for a deck of cards i definitely want to start doing like altered um oh this is harris i don't think this is actually a dollar tree item now that i think about it i just thought it was a deck of cards that were in the clearance bucket but this is Las Vegas style and it says Harris on here and then it's actually like they're marked so I have no idea where this came from I don't even think this is a Dollar Tree item did somebody like return cards to Dollar Tree I have no idea look at how weird that is oh it's it's taped on there I'll have to take that off but yeah they are actually marked cards from Harris so it's got like black ink up here and then the corners are cut that is so weird I don't think that they sell these at Dollar Tree yeah I have no idea why it was a Dollar Tree but it was 50 cents um I thought they were like full cards because I do want to try doing like little ATC cards on these and have these be like the center just to make the little ATCs thicker, but I'm not going to like it now that I know that it's missing the corner. So I'll have to rethink about that. So yeah, weird. Las Vegas Harris cards at Dollar Tree. have no idea what's going on with that, but okay. So let me put those back in there. Okay, got it. So the, anyways, I bought that there. I don't think it belonged there, but okay. Um, glue dots it's open i'm not sure how many are missing but it was a quarter so i figured why not take that and these birthday ones these are so hard to find i never find more than one so there's three pieces in there so i picked those up you can use these for embellishment boxes for a card for anything um my mom wanted a little travel soap for when we go on vacation so got that and the last little item was I found these super cute little Nomi homies over in the 4th of July section. So I wanted to pick that up. Um, I'm not sure if we're going to be traveling in July or not. But I mean I can still put this like I'll put these on my mirror in my bathroom just to add like decoration. So I figured why not go ahead and pick that up. So that is it, you guys. That is everything that I picked up at Dollar Tree on this trip. I'll definitely be going back sometime next week to see if they get any new items in. I know there's like a little rainbow kit that you can make in the craft section. Um, I also was looking over like in the cups area because there are some new like glass jars that they're getting that are nice for organizing. I didn't see any of those either. What else was I looking for? There was something else. I went looking for three things. I don't remember what it was. And um, I didn't find anything of them. There was something else. I don't remember. But anyways, so I'll be looking for those. And people apparently have already found Hobby Lobby 
stickers on clearance. Now, I called my stores today and they said that they were not done. One store said that they are very understaffed right now, so she has no idea when she's going to be getting them done. So, I'll just keep calling and checking. Um, you guys can do the same. Call your store, ask to speak with somebody in paper crafting, and then ask that person if they've done the clearance on the stickers. Um, but yeah, once I find something, I will definitely let you guys know. But apparently, they have started. So, um, that's pretty much it. Alright guys, we'll see you guys later. Bye guys!